hello, here we are. We finally made it to the St. Lawrence River. We drove all night, uh, Thursday into Friday, came out on the water yesterday, did some scouting, and today is officially the bass opener. Uh, we even got in a little fun tournament for 15 bucks. We can win uh, $2,000 for the biggest fish, 1,000 for the second biggest, and I think maybe 500 for third. So uh, we'll see how many people are out here. We're just getting out. It's 7.30 this time. The graph's wrong, but uh, yeah, we had to get a little bit of sleep since we drove and never really had any sleep yesterday. So uh, we opted to sleep in just a little bit later. But we'll get out there and see what we can get into. Hopefully we catch a six pounder or at least an upper five and uh, win some money. So stay tuned. Two minutes out. We already found our first bed. Two beds. Two beds. Yeah, two beds. Right next uh, to we were going to hit uh, one of the shoals and just start throwing the jerk bait and look for, look for some beds. And Austin uh, spotted a right spot so we picked up a flogger looked at it got two beds so or drop down and try and catch it and it's the classic um, issue as last year the weight goes on the bed so they eat the weights and not the drop shot so we're gonna try this uh, shorten the sleeter up um, this looks really ugly <laughs> Might tickle, but <laughs> tickle them in the face <laughs> till they bite it we'll see we're gonna try it we're trying otherwise to... we'll have to snip this we're trying to save our line because otherwise all day we're well, yeah. changing leader lengths and retying leader line it's just kind of a pain in the butt give it a flip i see it you're right in line give it a bump bump hold it beat it come back he came out oh he came out far might be a decent one huh yeah oh there oh, jordan keep your drag down there nice. you go Big one. Yeah. That's a five pounder. Oh, yeah. Wish I had my GoPro. <laughs> so, there he is. There we go. That's one of one. Uh, Actually, one of two. Got a little bit of a tangle up up here. But on the scale, we got about, it's hard to see it, about four and a half. So, pretty good first fish. Back to the water she goes. Get far back. He's looking right at it. Put it. Everybody, not a bad one, still fun to catch. Uh, today's bait of choice is this Big Bites Bait Company. Um, it's supposed to be a goby imitator, kind of like a flatworm. That's yeah, been the popular style the last couple years here, but I picked it up because of its extremely bright color. Um, the water is very clear here, you can see 15 20 feet, um, especially if the sun's high like today is going to be. But this chartreuse is very very helpful in just tracking your bait hopping it down to their beds because you, you got to cast way upstream and then kind of figure out the current make sure it's not uh, diverting your bait and hop it down to their bed and then you sit there while the other guy's watching the flogger or you can do it yourself but that takes uh, a little bit more time and it's just easier with two people so one right after Austin so he picked the small one our, our, our eyes are uh, not in tune like they were yeah we're gonna get uh, back last, and practice. we'll get last, better last year we were phenomenal yeah last three something so very fun fish to catch to go and make a move to We're some about bays to see some new scenery. and uh, just check out of that area see uh, if we can find any fish on beds there last time we were up here during the spawn 
they were already out of the bay, so we were just curious to see, see what we can do in there. Got a weight on her, it's about three and a half, so very beautiful fish. As soon as you said that, I thought the hook. Yeah. Oh, here's another one on the other side of the boat. Oh, he's suddenly not ready. Yee -yee. That's a big one. That's a five. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks like a decent one. Tank. Look at that. Holy crap, I mean, they're fun. Oh, he's huge. <laughs> 502, right around five. We'll just call it five. Day update here. Uh, we are basically have been fishing like you can see a shoal here. There's another shoal kind of up that way. Been fishing a lot around these shallow areas looking for beds. Um, here's an example of what a bed looks like here. It's typically you've got bigger rock, chunk rock and stuff like that um, with a lot of grass mixed in and then these are like this particular one is actually shells, like mussels almost. It's like the shells raked up and kind of in their clear patch. There's, there's other spots you can see like out here is a little bit or over by this movie. There's some larger blue spots that's more like a fine gravel bottom. But uh, that's basically what we've been looking for as far as beds and we get the flogger going which is here if you've never seen this before. It's just a uh, bat scope so you basically stick this in the water and then you can see kind of what's going on uh, underneath and uh, pick off the fish. So kind of been selecting the fish that we want to catch. There's so many up here on beds right now that's pretty pretty wild. So I think right now we're at like our best five or 24 pounds maybe, or 23, something like that. Smallest fish is a four and we got a four and a half, so they're smallest, the rest are over five. Uh, obviously we're not keeping any, we just release them, but that's what it would be. So. Uh, just a quick little midday update here and we're going to carry on trying to look for still a six pounder uh, or an upper five will weigh into the tournament but if it's smaller than that we're just going to let it go. Fun one on a jerk bait. We didn't have my camera up like normal. We probably went for three something. But... Perfect. Get ready. Set it. Four by a decent amount. Well, I should be a five. Spawn because it did get warm here for a while and the water temperature is up and up. 
I think maybe a first wave of fish probably moved up and then the weather went south. It's kind of like everywhere else. Um, at least I know at home in Missouri, spawn was kind of behind delayed this year. It's kind of had the same thing happen. So we will see as the week progresses uh, how these fish react into next week and see if uh, we see any more fish pulling up or if they're getting harder to find on beds or what. Oh, Ooh, he's dark. He's dark. real dark. Smaller guy, but still fun. We caught him here on a, uh, a channel marker for the shipping lanes for the big ships. They're a great current break. This one is right on the edge of the river channel, so there's current swirling on both sides and there's slack water in between. We've done really, really good here in August before when we came later in the year. Um, it's usually not quite as good this time. The fish aren't always pushed out into the river as much, but still fun to catch them and there's still some stragglers around. All right, day one is in the books. Uh, turned out to be an awesome day. We caught a bunch of fish, caught some nice ones, what, three over five pounds, and then a four and a half and a four, like two five made up our our bag or whatever. If you when I count that, so not too much different than the midday update, we were able to catch another um, four and a quarter or something like that since then. So uh, good day, good day. Tomorrow, like I said, we're gonna try Ontario. I think if the weather's looking good still and kind of go for that. So we'll see what we can in get into the rest of the week uh, and into next week. And hopefully the days stay as good as this, the fishing stays as good and we'll be good to go. So thanks for watching.